Hello everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Ghost Wolf Alpha, back at another stream tonight. How you're all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. Today is Tuesday, July 30th of 2024, and you know what that means? That means I get to choose the game for tonight. And I chose Star Trek Online. Where we last left off, I was a little bit busy. There's a... We were going to be doing some missions in the Delta Quadrant. And while off, while off stream, I got a little bit busy. <laughs> hey, Yosa, how you doing? But yeah, as I was saying, I got a little bit busy with stuff. And I can't wait to show you. Now, just a little update for, for all of you. If you're expecting Battletech Advanced 362 tomorrow, I have to, I'm canceling, temporarily canceling those from, for now. They're going to be whatever game I choose on those days because in a few weeks, there's going to be a game breaking up, there's a, a sick save breaking update to Baltic Advance, so it would, I would have to either speed run the game or or basically start all over and I'd rather start all over than have the stress of speed running it. Besides, I'd rather do it on stream if I wanted to if I wanted to show off there. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Come on. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, right now we're in the Delta Quadrant Command Center. J I'm just showing what I have here. I First off, I have finally made it to level 65, which is the level cap. Also, I've got some, some stuff there like this beam turret, which also creates a flamethrower turret. Medical generator. Um, got this ball lightning thing from the Ryzen event. But here, but as I mentioned before, I got a new. Sh actually, I should mention I got myself a new ship, the Woven Obelisk Carrier. <laughs> I also did a little bit of upgrading to stuff when I got it. Um, as in using a experimental token. Yeah, what? It, and also, I did a little bit of. Well, well, Yosa, if I want to, sh let me show it off to you in a second. I'll uh, show you what it. Well, it, uh, let me show you what it looks like once I get the get to the customize here. Okay, load up. Thank you. This is the original. Yeah, this is the original obelisk carrier for design. That is, if this came out it, when there was only tier five, the Vovin, on the other hand, this came out this year, and I'm not a real big fan of those pot, those things down below. The um, what was it? The bottom pylons. That pylons. That's it. That's why I went with the obelisk. Because I don't like the floaty bits down below. Also, I have choices for materials. I stuck with material type 2. Um, there's also the Dyson Tech. Which is alright. Type 1, which is meh. I like the Type 2. And then there's the upgrade, which is just a darker version of Type 1. Don't need that since I already customized it. But yeah, I got, I got a little bit busy. And also, also while I was off, well, actually, during that time uh, between back between then and now, I also did some work with the reputation system. Tier four and everything except for Discovery Legends because it has to get through, get all the way there in order to have a discount. 
as you can see, account-wide gear discount. I'm actually... Wait a second. No, that's... that's wrong. I can't remember it. I can't remember if it's a case of if I get up to tier 5, it would be a count white discount for for leveling up things. Anyway, let's get let's get to the mission here. Reunion. Okay, we've arrived at the Intapa system, sir. Our orders are to rendezvous with Admiral Tuvok on Voyager, setting a course to their coordinates now. Oh, there's some Kazon here. Voyager is under attack by the Kazon. Engines are offline, requesting assistance. I love those swarmers. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance. We were en route to the Talaxian base when we were ambushed by the Kazon. The damage is relatively minor, but my crew will require time to make repairs. However, I have a personal request. The leader of the Talaxian colony served with me on Voyager. Would you be willing to take me there? Of course, Admiral Tuvok. Beam over at your convenience. This base is populated by Talaxians. My shipmate from Voyager, Neelix, joined them before they moved to this location. The Talaxians have been looking for a new homeworld for quite some time, and now they have found one. The Alliance's history with the relocation of the Romulans will be invaluable in this process. Okay, let's hail them. Starfleet! Oh, what a thrill! It's so wonderful to see someone from the Federation again. It's been so long, and, and I keep in touch with my friends, but subspace isn't the same, and I... As you listen to me, I'm rambling on. My name is Neelix, and I serve as Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. Before that, I spent seven years on the USS Voyager with Captain Catherine Janeway. Admiral Janeway? She was promoted, promoted some time ago. Admiral Janeway? Of course! She certainly earned that promotion. My link to the Alpha Quadrant wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be until the Janolan Dyson Sphere opened a path straight to the Delta Quadrant. Now we get all sorts of news, but yours is the first ship to visit. I, uh, I may make a trip to Earth myself sometime, sample the cuisine, but that will have to wait until after the colonization. I barely have a minute to myself anymore. There's just so much to do. About the colonization. Oh, you've come to help. How wonderful. I but of course, Starfleet's always pitching in to help out, aren't they? Why, in all my years as ambassador to the Delta Quadrant, I've done everything I could to uphold the good name of the Federation. I don't always have the resources to do more than diplomatic visits, but we try to help out anyone we can, whenever we can. There are Alcompan ships out there right now. Did you know that? My people are helping them explore the stars. I'm sure the Federation appreciates your efforts on his behalf, but can we get back to the colonization efforts if you can? Oh, where are my manners? You must be tired and thirsty after your long journey. Come to the colony. We'll fix you right up. But, but, but if I could impose on you just for a small favor first. The Kazon Nistrum have been giving us a lot of trouble lately. We've constructed some shield generators to protect the base, but the Kazon keep knocking them offline and all my shuttles are prepping for the colonization. Could you reactivate the shields for us? Of course. <laughs> Wonderful! Just fly to the generators and start the relaunch sequence. It will take them a few minutes to get up to full strength, but that shouldn't be a problem. After that, beam down to the colony. I'll start making some nicely old root stew for you. All right, I'll restart those three generators. There we go. One.
to... Okay, better have those pets get back in the hangar. Uh, no. That's more long lines of way out there. What I mean by that, I mean... It took basically years to get back, get from the far side of far side. Uh, let me just try to bring up a galaxy map. Okay. This okay. Best way I can describe it is Earth is somewhere around here-ish. Minimum age to join Starfleet? I have no idea. But anyway, yeah, Earth's around here-ish. This is some somewhere over here is where Voyager <laughs> ended up. And they had to trek all the way back. Think so, anyway. Anyway, let's hail Neelix. Yeah, I think it... Maybe maybe it's 21. I'm not certain. I'd have to look that up. <laughs> Cubital of paid vacations. Yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for your assistance. You may beam down to our base at your leisure. Oh, and oh yeah, one in second. Formal capacity is permanent. No, why did I all tab right now? Of all things. Okay, let me see what's going on with the Discord. Okay. I don't know if you did this, but did you hit the thing in the rule or say in the rules basically accepting my accepting the Discord rules? Because if you did, you should be in the rest of the chat. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Uh, sorry about this, folks. It's a case of case of having to juggle things. Let's see permissions, view channel. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn on the music. Sorry about this, folks. Let me do this also while I'm getting things taken care of on Discord. Because you sh because patchouli, uh, you should be able to ch um, go down to after you get to the rules. You be should be able to see all the other channels, and it's main lobby general. Okay. Okay, you're in introductions. Do you see anything? Um, let me just. Okay, let's see if you can see that. There you go. That's ge that's general chat. <laughs> I 
Okay. Since we got Discord all taken care of now. Okay, thank you, Neelix, and beam down. So good to meet you in person. View screens are so impersonal, don't you think? May I shake your hand? I if memory serves, that's how. Mr. Vulcan? Is that you, Tuvok? Indeed. It is agreeable to see you again, Neelix. What a wonderful surprise! C come, my friends, we have so much to discuss! Okay. You look well, Neelix. Let's see if I can figure out. <laughs> As do I remember that episode. Family, children, being here has changed me for the better. Oh, why am dang wrong button? I'm trying to Indeed. slowly walk this instead of. This is an improvement on your previous. Instead of whatever home. this is. Twice as large and completely updated. You should see the kitchen. But you still seek a new homeworld? Of course, children need sun and open skies. A place to put down roots. What was that? Sir, the case on return had almost as soon as you... <laughs> Gorn to be alive. Don't start with the Gorn jokes. We'll be here all day. Anyway, sir, the case unreturned almost as soon as you transported down. We drove them off, but they got a lucky shot in at the base before they left. Sensors are showing some structural damage at the operations bay. Acknowledge. Inform me of the case on return. The operations bay? Dexter was in there! I'm assuming this way. <laughs> Can you open up the door? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Get us trapped. Please do something. Okay. I'll do a transport. <laughs> there we go. Dex is a little dizzy, but she'll be fine. I, I have to stay with her, though. I'm afraid I must impose on your kindness again. Several of our systems were damaged in the attack, and I can't help fix them just now. Of course, Neelix. What can I do? Several of our systems are malfunctioning. Our communications, environmental controls, engineering, and the controls for the crane loading our ships all have been damaged. It would be my pleasure to fix them. That's one. And the reason why I'm sprinting is because I don't want to be here all day. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Power. The electroplasma flow rate. Nice linear chip matrix. And fix and replace the fuses. I'll go take care of the crane. But yeah, if you could but yeah, if you did those Gorn jokes
books. It would be, I have seen threads, uh, threads about, or a seen basically chat go, uh, the ch in-game chat going through a whole bunch of them. Okay. Be a case of increased frequency, and now it's time to go back to Neelix. Thank you so much. Everything seems to be working properly now, and Dex is feeling much better. I need to take one final lap around the base and speak to a few people before we depart. Would you care to accompany me? Certainly. Let's go talk to the foreman, see what's going on. Well, between right now they're try <laughs> right now they're trying to get everything all packed up and ready to go to a cup to a new world so it's kind of a mess right now <laughs> I need help loading this ship Mannix was supposed to help me but now I can't find him and I can't reach him on internal comms I know he hasn't left the station yet though could you look around and tell him that his shift has started find Mannix I could do of that discipline among the Talaxians is alarming And there's Menex. Greetings, friend. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm helping Kallax. She says she needs more workers for the shift. Really? I was scheduled to work now, but I traded shifts with Oxel so I could meet a friend who's returning from a long trading mission. Find Oxel. He should be able to help you. Thank you. I've known Menex for many years now. If he says he traded shifts, I believe him. Okay, trading shifts. Oxel. I, I don't believe we've met yet. I'm Oxel, and you must be one of Neelix's visitors from the Alpha Quadrant. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. I'm trying to track down who's supposed to be working at the cargo loaders right now. Menex said he traded shifts with you? Th that's right, but then I beat Drexa in a game of Kat is Kat, and she agreed to work the shift for me. You should find her. Betting work shifts on a game of cat is cot is extremely unprofessional. And now, back this way. Hi there. I I'm Drexa. I heard you helped save Dexa's life. Those Kazon are always bothering us. I wish they'd just find some place else to go. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, I'm trying to find who's supposed to be working the cargo loaders. Axel said you lost a game of Kataskat to him and agreed to work his shift as payment. Oh, yes, that's right. I worked his shift, though. Check the duty roster. It should all be there. Drexa never you. worries about the details, but she's one of the nicest people I know. Okay, let's get the duty roster. Okay, duty roster shows Drexa did work a shift for Oxel, but she worked or Oxel's original shift rather than the time marked for Menek shift. Okay. Oh, it's you again. Did you find what you needed? Yeah, I checked the duty roster. Oxel traded shifts with Menex, so when you did Oxel's shift, you were actually supposed to be working Menex's shift. Really? Um, but I worked the shift that was in the duty roster. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be... I have to sort this out. Ah, I gotta love running back and forth everywhere. Did you find Drexa? Yes, I checked the duty roster. It wasn't updated with your trade with Menex, so Drexa did your original shift by mistake. Oh, what a goof! 
I told her I traded shifts with Menex. At, at least I think I did. Does that mean both Menex and Drexa showed up for my shift? I'll talk to Menex. I think I know who I'm gonna give the give give the work order to. Hey there! I talked to Oxel, and he told me what happened. Did you find Drexa? Yes, I looked at the duty ro roster. Drexa was supposed to do your shift to repay her debt to Oxel, but you did his original sh but did his original shift by mistake. But where were you? Oh, that explains it. I showed up for the shift a bit late, but Kallax said she already had enough workers and I could go back to my quarters. Normally, I would be happy to work, but my friend will be back any time now. That's why I traded shifts in the first place. I see. Did you find Menix? Yeah, Menix said he traded shifts with Oxel. Drexel lost a bet to Oxel and took the shift as payment. But Drexel did a Oxel's original shift by mistake instead of Menex's. So when Menex showed up to do work, Oxel to do showed up to do work. Oxel sh on, on Oxel's shift, he told him he had enough help and he could leave. Sounds like quite a series of miscommunications. But I still need help here. What do you think I should do about it? Uh. Okay, let's go with. Let's go with Oxel. Yeah, Oxel caused the caused the problem by trading shifts and not communicating properly. It's his responsibility to work the shift. Okay, to the astrometric scientist. <laughs> ah, that's law. <lo> <laughs> To take the words from, to take a specific word from, from Battletech, it's Lost Tech. <laughs> I need to scan the route we'll take to the colony, but the Kazon attack has damaged our astrometric system. All it will tell me is how far off I am from our target position. I feel like I'm taking shots in the dark. Would you be willing to help me? Yes. By adjusting the sensor array's pitch, up and down, and yaw, uh, left and right, yeah, I you know can that. point the array at the target. By adjusting the force, you can change the distance the array examines. Uh, be sure not to overshoot the target location. The array will be useless if that happens. Okay, let's go adjust it. First, we're gonna go adjust the angle. Up. Okay, back. Let's change the yaw. No, the, go to the left. Change the force. Oh, decrease the force. And lock in the coordinates. I can't thank you enough for your help. Dex is going to be fine. The doctor says she'll be up and around in no time. Glad to hear it, Neelix. I need to return to Voyager. Please escort the Talaxian fleet to New Talix. It would be an honor, Admiral. We can return to Voyager at your earliest convenience. The Talaxians have much to do. Certainly, Admiral. And beam me up. First, Voyager. Thank you for all you have done for the Talaxians. I believe that they will be a valuable ally to us in the days ahead. That would not have been possible without your assistance. I am confident we will see one another again. Until then, live long and prosper. Peace and long life to you, Admiral. Our ships are ready to depart. Travel to the staging area to join us in our new adventure. On my way, Neelix. Are you ready to depart for New Talax? Yep, let's go.
Sir, I'm detecting extremely high radiation levels in this system. Too high for a normal dispersal for for, nor, for a normal dispersal pattern. I'll investigate further. But first, Neelix is hailing us from the Talaxian transport vessel. Are you detecting the theta radiation spikes? Those levels have been normal and steady for weeks now. What could have happened? Okay, well check it out first. You stay here with the fleet. And I got a feeling I'm gonna need them. So there appears to be high amounts, high amount of theta radiation around the planet. Our scans in, indicate that it was recently placed here. It should not be an issue for us to remove them, but we should have to deal with whoever dumped the radiation in the first place. Neelix, do you have any idea who did this? Theta radiation could mean only one thing, the Malon. They lack the technology to recycle antimatter waste, which has led them to develop an entire industry around dumping theta radiation in various areas. We can't survive on new Talax if the Malon are going to use it as their personal garbage dump. I'll deal with this, Neelix. Where's the... There they are. There's those garbage scows. Unknown vessel. This site is claimed by the Malon. Go find your own dump site. The Talaxians have claimed this system. You need to find another place to dump your waste. Why? I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the Talaxians to find another planet. The Talaxians have been searching years for a planet like their homeworld. We could assist you in finding another dump site. Okay, but the mainland have cut communications, sir. They're powering up weapons, but they're not a match for us. Red alert! Target their engines and destroy. Uh, tar yeah, target their engines. Destroying their ship will make the radiation worse. Here's one thing I like about these obelisk fighters. Okay, reinforcements. <laughs> I'm not even firing it. This is all my pets. <laughs> A battleship. There we go. <laughs> okay. Wait for the red alert to go away. Enough! You've ruined me! Wreck my ship! At least spare my life! We will! Now go find another place to dump your trash! The Malon are gone, but the radiation is still around! Oh, what can we do? This would have been a perfect homeworld. But we can't live here if the radiation is going to infect the entire planet. Uh, the Abelis Coop 2 can easily remove the radiation. Just give us a moment. I'll get the, get the swarmers back in. Here go. There's one spot taken care of. Better go to the out of the way one here before I go for the other three. And it's just those other three spots.
And one more. Buzzard collectors, I believe, maybe? Transporters and all that fun stuff. Some more radiation. See the last bit. Thank you and there so we much go. for all of your help. You are a true friend to me and to the Talaxian people. Your crew will always be welcome on New Talax. And good luck in your voyages. I hope to see you again soon. It's been a pleasure, Neelix. Best of luck to you and your people. And we can now leave the system. Yeah. The Malon were causing problems? Can't say I'm surprised. Hopefully this won't amount to more than a minor inconvenience. If it does, we'll be ready to take action. Alrighty. There's something interesting, but... Okay. Let me see what's next. It's been more than 30 years since Voyager passed through this okay, region I'm... space. But the echoes of what... Okay, what, just so you know, I'm going to be skipping the patrol missions. Because, sure, they're interesting, but it just takes takes a little bit too much out of this. Where are you? There you are. I'll do those off stream. We've received a distress call from the USS Callisto. The signal was garbled, and there's little more than their last known location in the data. Get out there and bring the Callisto home if you can. Alrighty. There's something interesting. But yeah, if I'm gonna skip any of those patrols because because it even though the story is interesting, it does not in my opinion it just takes away from the stream for tonight. Or it just takes away from the stream. Unless I'm forced into it by the by the story itself. Anyway, area map. And bottom slipstream. Okay, just hit the begin button here. <laughs> okay, we have arrived at the location of the distressed call from the USS Callisto. We're no longer receiving the distress beacon, but sensors are picking up debris consistent with a Luna class Federation starship. There might be some survivors. Scan the wreckage. I'll get the. Although, I don't think there's going to be any survivors. Or at least on the ship, that is. No luck, Admiral. Sensors aren't reading any life signs of the wreckage. The Callisto had a crew complement of 30, say 350. Well, that's unfortunate. Can we identify who attacked her? Okay, Admiral, we have an incoming message from the outpost station. Let's see what they have to say. This is Seven of Nine, part of a Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated and destroyed the ship. Seven, this is the this is Admiral Wiles of the Opolis Two. We received we responded as soon as we could. I am aware of your service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will be of more assistance to you there. Yeah, they have a lot of explaining to do. Long range sensors are picking up inbound energy signatures. Voth ships. They must lay claim to this system. Indeed. Attention, trespassing endotherms. You are trespassing in Voth aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world. We will not be made to your prisoners. Warning. 
Oh, I hate those tricks they pull off. And they took down most of my... Most of my swarmers. Yeah, I don't think I can take out a treadmill treadmill on my own. Usually two of them. And they're warping out. Where are they going? It's not like the Voth to leave a battle they would have clearly won. Yeah, that's odd. Admiral, we're receiving a distress call for the Teray homeworld. On screen. This is a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Teray homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require immediate assistance. Who exactly are the Terray? The Terray are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. They claim ownership over the Underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the Underspace would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. Do you think the Vault are the ones who attacked the Terray? They left so quickly. That is one possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Terray are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant. Perhaps a show of good faith would be in order. And let's go. We have arrived in the Terray system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they are not engaging to ray vessels. Their opposition does not conform to any known ship in the database. Whatever they are, they are packing quite the punch. Exceptional. Even the Borg do not have ships such as these. I'm surprised that the voiceover did pop through. Anyway. Okay, one of those ships is broken off. Voth ships is falling, wreaking massive damage to the planet's surface. The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Make it so. Your defense of the Terray thieves will be your undoing. The Terray and Voth have a long standing allegiance. The Terray's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. Then you will be loyal to the death. You're not even attempting to negotiate. The surface of the Terray homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Terray do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them, but the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. Okay, we'll be down. The invaders attacked I will follow the facility, your lead but they did not do significant structural damage. They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere, and your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. Yes, let's make this happen. 
There was a firefight here. One of the Tere is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. Good, we'll help him and maybe he can answer some questions. Thank you. My name is Bellus. You're from Starfleet, right? Yes, we'd like to know what happened here. The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. Who are the attackers? We couldn't identify the ships. The attackers were Vardwar! Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy. All of this destruction, every death, it's all Voyager's fault. Vodwar? Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwar. I... I would know. Seven, who are the Vodwar? This... this is all my fault. When we first encountered the Vodwar, they were in cryostasis. I foolishly awoke their leader in a moment of curiosity. I didn't know their history. They were conquerors, despots. The Vodwar used underspace to rule the Delta Quadrant for decades. It was only when the other races banded together that they were defeated. At the time we encountered them, when I... when I awakened them, Captain Janeway said she probably would have done the same thing. But it wasn't her choice, it was mine. I am responsible. However, the Vodwar we encountered did not have a level of technology like what we face here. This is far beyond anything the Vodwar are capable of developing in such a short amount of time. Understood. What's the plan, then? My analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to re-establish the grid. Sounds good. Keep an eye out for any Vodwar, and they won't like what we're trying to do. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence. I blame myself for the Vodwar's return. It was a door best left unopened. We had to ally ourselves with the Ture to escape the Vodwar. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is an Iconian, um... No further hostile. ...kid module. Couldn't think of the word for a second there. Sorry about the um. My analysis of this note is complete. Execute the following steps in the correct order. Go on. First, you must access the AI subroutines. Okay. Next, you must charge the capacitive relays. Finally, you must align the main relay. Okay. Connection reestablished. Going to go to the other side here. Better, just better take care of these while I'm these Vatra war war at it. Some lightning. Hmm. 
No further hostile beams detected. Complete these steps in the correct order. To first, you must launch the startup sequence. Startup. Next, you must update the defense protocols. Defense. Finally, you must align the main relay. Startup defense and startup defense and relay. Okay. Link established. <laughs> oh, duty officer assignment's been is done. When we first rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. Oh. It's the eight support drones. No further hostile Analysis complete. Perform these first. You must launch the startup sequences. Startup. Next, you must reinitialize the kinetic dampeners. Kinetic. Finally, you must align the main relay. Main relay. Defense node online. One more, and it'll be the helm be good be good to go. Okay. Whatever happens here, we must inform our superiors about the Vodwar threat. Are these ones over here, I see. I have completed my analysis. First, you must launch the startup sequence. Startup. Next, you must update the defense protocol. Defense. Finally, you must establish. Uplink. Okay. Okay, I've got now. I have completed my analysis. First, you must. Next, you must. Defense Finally, and you satellite. Okay. That's what I could remember. Uplink reinitialized. There we go. Nope. Activate the defense grid. Starfleet, 
I need assistance at the central tower. Okay. When Admiral Tuvok asked me to leave my post at the Daystrom Institute to assist the Galista, I thought the probability of seeing Vaudeville was statistically insignificant. Okay, I need a... Heal the soldier here. No further hostile beams detected. Your team did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and realigned to the central hub here. The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes. We'd be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. These are mobile transporter pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the defense grid. Okay, we'll need to hold them off until the defense grid has completed the restart then. The terrain took control of other space after the Vodwar was defeated. Surely the Vodwar attacked. Our reinforcements approaching. Okay, better pop down a medical generator. And pop another solar gateway. Godwell are relentless. Probability of our survival is I love the plasma fl say the phaser flamethrower turret here. <laughs> the Vodwar are tenacious fighters. We must be warned. Enjoy some lightning. Stuck there. Ah, reinforcements looks like. We can't keep this up forever. What is that? Ah, Voth Max. the final wave. There we go. No further hostile beings to take. Okay, I'm receiving a message from the Obelisk 2. The Padra are retreating to other space. Even with their defense grid online, the Drake would, couldn't have defeated them by a leave before they could finish the fight. Odd. It is not odd. Voth reinforcements have entered orbit. These Vardwar do not want to do battle with an obviously superior force. Really? I seem to remember the Vardwar tearing your ships apart. While we did sustain great losses, we have made good on our agreement with the Terei. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. Seven, I've, seven and I restored the defense grid, you mean? I'm not interested in petty squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored and we are safe. That's all that matters. I apologize. 
Admiral, the USS Voyager is in orbit. Admiral Tuvok is requested to beam down it to your position. Mission granted! Seven of nine. Admiral? We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault! Your ship invaded the Voth outpost! You woke the Vardwar! Vardwar? Interesting. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believed their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong! The Vardwar have returned, and no one is safe. I see. Seven, Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. We will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Thank you. Voyager, two to beam up. Okay, seven so arrived safely on Voyager, and the Bodwar fret on the ground is here's over. Both commander indicated his force will deal with any his forces will deal with any remaining hostiles, so I'd work clear to return. Yeah, beam me up. Do-do-do-do-do. Oh, I found out that I would have had to, for this, I'd have to play through all the events or do the buyout for the event campaign. So, oh well. Thank you for assisting Seven and lending aid to the Touré. However, the discovery that our old foes, the Vaudoir, have made such a leap in technology and are now threatening the entire Quadrant is troubling. I agree. Thank you. Without your help, my team and I may have been killed by the Voth. Now, however, I must turn my attention to the Vaudoir. I am responsible for their return. I must assist in their defeat. Good luck, Seven. Stay safe out there. Now let's get out of here. Before the Voth decide to change their mind and decide we're a threat. <laughs> The Vaudoir. I had a feeling I hadn't seen the last of them. They were dangerous before, and now they have tech that can defeat the Voth. If the Vaudoir come for us, we need to be ready. There's something interesting. One free cluster torpedo. Not all the experience. One second. One patrol to skip. And... The doctor is asking for assistance with the situation in the Shenda system. I'd like you to lend a hand. Okay. There's something in... To the Shenda system. Let's just transwarp there just to make things a lot easier. <laughs> Someone leveled up. Come on. Hold up. Uh, gotta love waiting for the loading. Okay, we've arrived at the Shenda system, Captain. The distress signal is coming from the transport dead ahead, but we received no response to our hails. I'll keep trying, but perhaps our guest knows more. 
The emergency medical hologram known as the Doctor is in a shuttle nearby, waiting our hail. Let's take us to the shuttle. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew before you charge into combat? Of course you don't. No captain ever does. Nice to meet you too, Doctor. <laughs> We've been hailing this Ocompen freighter for some time, but we're not getting a response, and our sensors cannot penetrate their shields. Their initial distress signals indicated that they were suffering from Paranisti measles. I can treat it easily, if I can get onto the ship. Now that your ship is here, it should be trivial to board the vessel and assess the situation. Transport me aboard your vessel, and then my shuttle can return to Voyager. Okay, prepare for transport. Excellent. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my ship. Oh, hello! I am Gaul, leader of the Vaudoir Supremacy. I apologize for the overzealousness of my soldiers. This action was not authorized. I'm Admiral Wiles of the Albusk II. I'm pleased to finally meet you. It appears your presence here in the Delta Quadrant has inadvertently caused some conflict between us. I would rather avoid any more unpleasantness. Would you be willing to meet with me? Face to face. Yes, but I found such talks are best on neutral grounds. That is understandable. Do you have a location in mind? There are not many areas of the Delta Quadrant where my people are not reviled. I might know a place. I'll be back with you in a moment. Oh, what a wonderful surprise! Is there anything I can do for you? Yes. Hey, Neelix, um, we need a neutral place for a diplomatic negotiation with the Vaudoir. I was wondering if you could help. Diplomatic negotiations? I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. I would be more than happy to offer my services as mediator. As for the location, Dexa and most of our people are on new Talax now, but we still have the asteroid base in the Antaba system. It's mostly empty now, just a few cleanup crews, and the Kazon have been leaving it alone. It would be perfect. Thank you. Your assistance will, is greatly appreciated. Well... Did you find a suitable location for our meeting? Yes, there's an asteroid base in the Ataba system that the Talaxians have been using. Talaxians? Are there still Talaxian communities? How odd. The site is agreeable. Send my ship the coordinates and I will meet you there. Coordinates said we'll talk there. I'm contacting the closest medical ship. They can investigate this further while we meet with Gaul. Yeah. Hydrating, give me one second. Mm. Excellent idea, Doctor. And let's warp out. Imagine using a medical emergency as a trap. The Vaudoir had no shame. I don't trust Gaul. He betrayed us on Vaudoir Prime. He'll do it again. It's good to see you again so soon. If I might make a suggestion, I would recommend only bringing two crew members with your away team. Gaul brought four aides, 
you'll have the doctor and myself, and bringing more of your crew down might look like you're trying to get an advantage on him. Gaul seems very touchy. Proper protocol will be important. Okay. Are you ready to beam down? Yep. Bring Tarsi and Tomet, which are they're already loaded up. It's so good to see... Doctor, it's been 30 years! You haven't aged a day! Yes, it's good to see you too, Neelix. We have a bit of time before we'll begin. We're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Doctor, you must tell me all you've been up to. Oh, Neelix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. But I suppose it is important that you hear about my many achievements since our last meeting. And my brilliant research was able to prove conclusively. Okay. Thus Got some I time began to my kill. grand adventure into the challenge of writing Klingon opera. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident again. <laughs> well, at least not to Dexa. <laughs> Neelix, the Vardwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you. Oh, well, we had better get going. W we can talk more later. Do you remember Chef Jolax from the last time you were here? He's the one that has been serving the Vaudoir, their fabulous appetizers. Full bellies make for good conversation, I always say. He told me that Gaul is a little grumpy, but I'm sure you can handle him. Gaul is in the command room now, waiting for us. Jolax should be back soon to take everyone's orders for the main course. Thank you, Neelix. Let's go speak with Gaul. Of course, because I'm running, they'll transport. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit emptier than, <laughs> than when we were here the first time. Ah, at last. I must say, your Talaxian friends are quite hospitable. But down to business. Our meeting is long overdue. Indeed, it's time to settle our differences. As do I. My people are damaged, in crisis. We are already at war with the Kabali, and with you, giving your alliances support for them. Well then, let's try to find an accord that benefits us both. Do you know why we fight the Kabali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony, one of our largest. And there is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. Those are my brothers and sisters being held hostage. The Kabali are stealing them, taking their very identities and transforming them. They won't return the remaining troops? The Kabali would rather watch us die and use our corpses as fuel for their unnatural corruption. Is it wrong to fight against your own extinction? Don't we have a right to survive as well? There must be a way we can end this peacefully. The war will scar the, dar the, the, the Quadrant for decades to come. There can be no peace. Not after what they've done. Are you suggesting we are weak? That we should just lay down and die for them? No, we will not. No, but destroying them isn't, isn't right, either. But the, there are greater threats in the galaxy that we must face. Do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. Abandon your alliance with the Kobali and support us, and we will be your strongest ally in the Quadrant. I'm not here to start a war with the Kobali. <laughs> Peace. You know nothing of what it means to be Vaudoir. What do you, you mean? You need to understand. Okay, what do you mean? The Vaudoir have endured too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities? The massacres of our people? The food's almost ready. What would you all like for your main course? 
You need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. <gasps> He's dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does that make you angry, Talaxian? No. It makes me sad. For Jolex. And for you. Then we are not done. <laughs> what the? Huh? Oh no. Okay, this is not good. Okay, Admiral, the entire Vador fleet is opening fire on the remaining Talaxian ships. We've sent out distress signals to, to every ship in range. We'll do what we can to protect the Talaxians, but we can't hold against this many ships. Okay, what happened? Okay, here, there's... blah blah blah. That's horrible. Do you think Gaul had any intentions of negotiating in good faith, or was this all an act? Giving the Talaxians time we can to escape, but it's not looking good up here, sir. Some of the Vador here have already broken off to to pursue them. Your orders? Okay, I need a tactical strike team at my location immediately. Okay, we'll ha we'd have to drop shields or transport or launch a shuttle, sure. I, if I do that, I'll lose the ship. Try to find some way to get help to you, but there, until things are under control up here, anything we do is going to be risky. Okay, in that case, I need a scan of the base. How many Talaxians are still alive? Scan show two large groups of Talaxians in the storage room and the logistic logistics area. They have the doors blocked, but they are but there are Vador trying to get into both locations. Doesn't look good, Captain. I'm afraid you'll only have time to rescue one group. Do your best to save Talaxians. No matter what, Starfleet will not let more innocents die today. Time only to save one group? I do not envy your choice. I would go with you, but I cannot leave Neelix alone. And time is of the essence. I'm afraid you'll have to go on without us. Very well, make sure to get Neil. No! I'm going. I can't sit by and let the Vaudois kill my friends. I, I won't be a burden. I promise. I have to do this. Okay, stay close to me, Neelix. I'll ensure your safety. An anchor drone. You see those drones. How do we choose who to save? Hypo. <laughs> We've saved the hostages, but they may be safer here. Okay, stay here until till the base is cleared. What about the people in the storage room? Have to work our way there then. We should check to see if any of the Talaxians survived. Doctor, you have to save them! These are my friends! They are beyond my help now, Neelix. I'm sorry. Then... we can still save the others. We have to get to the shuttle in the cargo bay!
Okay, the blast doors are up, but I think we can take care of that, which is simply act using the tricorder. I hate those. Again, I hate those drones <laughs> of theirs. Sent a signal to the remaining Telaxians to join us here as soon as possible. Time, about, time to set up a defense. More Vodwar on the way. Defend the shuttle. More on the way. If I weren't a hologram, I'd be worried. A large number of Vodwar are closing in. I'm afraid they may be too much for you to handle. Don't tell me the odds. Got ourselves the Terei are here to assist. After this, our debt to you is repaid. But we had a nice firing line. Oh, that's timely. Here come the Bodwar. The Bodwar have been repelled. I would have words with you before you continue. Okay. Our help does not mean we are now allies. We are repaying a debt. Our ships are currently engaging the Vaudois fleet. It is unsafe for this shuttle to launch until they are defeated. We will return to our ships. I suggest you do the same. We will provide cover for your ship so it may drop shields to transport you. We appreciate the help, Commander. And let's get out of here. I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vaudoir means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? You thought me a fool who would swallow your insults without comment. A fool who would blunder into the trap you set with the Touré. I am not. You're the one you're the one who did this call, not me. This has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. How disappointing. I had thought you would be a valuable ally. Now you are just another victim. We did everything we could to make peace with you, Gaul. You're the one who destroyed it.
talk about heavy artillery. There we go. You came to our aid when the Vaudoir attacked our homeworld. Now we have come to assist you. This discharges our obligation. Thank you for your assistance. Perhaps we can be allies someday. How could they do something so horrible? We're no threat to them. We'd done nothing but welcome them. And he just... He killed my friends just to make a statement. I, I don't understand how anyone would be so callous. Yeah, I'm sorry about the, Sorry, Neelix. I don't blame you. I agreed to let the Vaudoir come here. I put my people in danger. This is my responsibility. I just never conceived that even the Vaudoir could be so treacherous. They double-crossed us on Voyager and tried to take the ship, but slaughtering innocent people. My time on Voyager changed me. I saw the best that people could be. I forgot, or wanted to forget, how evil they could be. Alex, I promise you that Gaul will face justice for what he's done. With your permission, I'll lead the survivors back to New Talix. Then we can return with a security force to collect the dead. Farewell, Neelix. I've been in contact with the USS Blackwell. They boarded the freighter in the Shenda system, but it was empty. It was all a ruse by the Vaudoir to lure us into that system. Everything was part of this play Gaul wanted to perform. From the initial distress call to his intervention and offer to negotiate. And then he used a massacre to set his stage. That's the kind of man he is. And unless he's stopped, the entire quadrant may fall. Let us hope it does not com come to that, Doctor. Gaul has shown his true nature. I expected he was not dealing in good faith. But nevertheless, we had to make an attempt to find a peaceful solution to our problems with the Vaudoir. Now the war will continue. I grieve for all who have been lost, and for those who will fall before this conflict ends. Oh, we had to try, Admiral. Senseless, meaningless death. I'll never understand. I hope Neelix and his people will be able to find some peace, and that Gaul will answer for his crimes. And I hope our paths cross again, perhaps under better circumstances next time. With your permission, I'll return to Voyager. Permission granted. Fair, Grant, farewell, Doctor. It's been an honor. Now let's get out of here. Gaul betrayed my trust years ago when we first encountered the Vaudoir. Time hasn't made him any less treacherous or dangerous. He's a warmonger and must be stopped. There's something interesting, I'd And... And skip the patrol? The Vaudoir are invading the Kobali homeworld, and I'm not inclined to let them succeed. There's something in- Okay, we're just gonna go there. Basically, get this- get this mission done, then we- we won't be hanging around the system. For now, anyway. Beam down. Of course, I need a team to temporarily. I'm just skipping this. That way you... Okay, yeah. Don't want to deal with the crisis the right this second. The are attacking ships in the Orlitis system. The Romulans are sending the Lisette to assist them, and I want you to back them up. Okay. 
There's something in. Let's get out of here. By the way, this one was just basically the way to introduce Harry Harry Kim. Hey, let's begin capture the flag. Oh, I am kind of excited for next month. It's There's two things going on. One is going to be my one-year streaming anniversary. And the other is, I'm going on a road trip. I'm more excited for the road trip, Glad honestly. Our side. This is one of the systems marked for further examination during your work with Sub-Commander Sehen. I'm not sure what the Vodwa are up to here. But they're fighting like demons. They're attacking a small group of Alliance vessels. More hostile ships are on the way. I propose we divide and conquer. The Lisette will fly ahead and catch any incoming ships, while you free our trapped allies. Your thoughts? Good idea. Obelisk 2 will rescue the trapped ships. But, uh, yeah, a road trip. Basically, we're going to a wildlife center. And they have a whole bunch of animals there that... That you normally wouldn't that I normally wouldn't see at the local zoo. There's also a whole bunch of other places that we're going as well, but but it's a case of I don't want to talk about talk about it that much on stream because now the Lord Lord I don't want people to figure out where I am. Lord. Yeah, there's yeah, there's the road trip's gonna be about halfway through the through the month, and th that'll be the day I'm gonna be can canceling my stream for the entire week. Or see, my stream for the entire week. Large Vodwar fleet just arrived. This is our chance to strike before they retreat. has been taken there she has a whole bunch of boarding teams on it five Vodwar boarding teams that is and we have to go help the ship is swarming with Vodwar soldiers our security forces are attempting to engage them but as of yet we have not made significant gains I am unable to contact other members of the senior staff, but I believe they are still alive. <laughs> 
Very coincidental, really. Our current situation is remarkably similar to my invasion scenario 4591. When you are ready, we can go over our plan of attack. Invasion scenario 4591? Scenarios, plural. I have gone through several hundred holodeck simulations of various factions attempting to board the Lasset. As the designated intelligence officer, it is important I know what to do in every scenario. The Vaudois simulation is incomplete, but they are acting in accordance to several other scenarios. If you are wondering, I do have a scenario that deals with your crew boarding us. I would enjoy talking to you sometime about how to improve your vulnerabilities. Okay, why are we in Commander Jirak's quarters then? The Vaudois are jamming transporters and communications. My holodeck simulations determined the Commander's quarters is one of the places where interference would be the weakest, allowing me to bring in outside help. The other areas, if you are curious, are the secondary control room, storage room 10 beneath engineering, and, well, I shall leave the final one a surprise. Okay, what is your holodeck, what is your holodeck simulation? Scenarios oh, wait, plural. Okay, anyway. I have gone through several blah, blah, blah. hundred no, holodeck simulations of various one factions second. attempting to board the Let's just the talk Lasset. about how to retake As the, the desert, We need to retake several key areas of the ship. The security team here will capture the bridge. Meanwhile, your team should storm the med bay, which we are very close to. Dr. Kratok should be there. After that, we must retake the armory to prevent the Vaudois from resupplying. In the majority of my scenarios, Lieutenant Terrell is there making a stand against the invaders. From there, we need to see whether the Vaudois perform like Scenario 4591 or Scenario 3291. Though, perhaps they may surprise us and be more like 6895. Uh, my apologies. We do not have time for my idle speculation. Any questions? I will remain here until we have recovered the majority of this deck. If your crew should be killed in action, I will need to remain free and contact another ship for aid. It's not my place to get my hands dirty in this, especially not after the incident in Scenario 2792. You must stop this meaningless massacre! Consider the balance! That's the one who defied God! Kill them all! You... Oh, you, you have my thanks. Such reckless slaughter! Oh, oh th th thank you for the rescue. The Vaudois have no respect for anything other than their own selfish goals. I'm... I'm sorry, but I cannot help you any further. I am just a civilian scientist, not a trained killer, or a trained soldier like you. I'll, I'll wait here until everything has settled down, unless you believe there is something I can do. Yes, that is more than acceptable. I will not fight, but I can help restore the balance by helping others. I will attempt to stabilize anyone who needs help here, and then await word from you or the doctor that the medbay is safe. Do your worst. You're amateurs compared to the tall Shi'ar. 
I will not sit by and let you take this ship. Thank you. Let's get to work. Glad to see you, but if you came here instead of the bridge, it means you're following a plan made by Gaius and his scenarios. The equipment here is still operational. I'll begin treating the wounded. There's a console nearby you can use to contact the security team heading to the bridge. I've watched enough of Gaius and his scenarios to know that he would never count on a single team success. He'd send someone else to the bridge. And I also know he's made a few modifications to almost every console on the ship, including that one. Nothing happens in my med bay without my knowledge. Good timing. We're about to storm the bridge. We'll keep the channel open during the assault. I'll contact you again after we have control. What makes you think you will succeed where others have failed? You should have taken Gaul's offer. I imagine we both overheard the same thing. Very curious. I've run simulations where the security team failed, but none like this. We should continue with the plan. We have this area secure, and you are the only mobile unit still available. If you can recover you and her team in the armory, we will have another opportunity to retake the ship. We should talk strategy. Bah! Bodwire. I'll take down every last one of them, I swear it. Nobody makes me look like a fool. I guess I'll let you deal with a few. I can't be in two places at once. We have problems in the brig and in engineering. Sionel and his team are pinned down in engineering, and Commander Jarok and Sub-Commander Merrill are in the brig. I'm going to hit engineering. If the Vogwar get control of the Singularity, we're done. Think you could secure the brig?
Delay them. I need more time. Disable the security grid, and we can get out of here. Thank you. What's the situation? You're a welcome sight. I was on the bridge. We were attacked by just one Vodwar. But he was different. Stronger. Unstoppable. He wiped out our security team, but he knocked Var and me out. Put us here for questioning. What's happening? Do we have control of the bridge? Is Zynel there? If he and Ju can hold engineering while we take the bridge, we can take control of the ship and then clean up the Vodwar from there. I'll, I'll still need some time to recover. You and Subcommander Merrill should head to the bridge. I'll stay here and... Monitor the situation. Be on your guard. The Vodwar that took that bridge shrugged off our attacks like they were nothing. He won't go down easily. Commander Jurok requires our assistance. He's... gone. Strange. Excellent work. We have control of the ship's life support, navigation, and weapon systems again. According to the logs, the Vodwar leader was attempting to open fire on your ship. It doesn't look like he could get past Lieutenant Salon's security algorithm. I'll handle things up here, but could you use that console to contact Lieutenant Terrell? Tell her to scramble her security teams and find that Vaudoir. If you want to live, you'll give me what I want. I've survived worse than you. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Was this all a trick to lure us away from engineering? What are they trying to... No, he couldn't. I fear the worst. If the Vaudoir is in engineering, he could turn off the shielding protecting the Singularity Core. Without containment, the Singularity will implode. This way. Nowell and I have a plan. Very predictable. If the Vaudois can't use the Lisette to attack other ships, they will make a statement by destroying us with our own singularity. I've analyzed the data from other teams fighting the Vardois. It's pointless for you to try to fight him. Your weapons are inadequate for the task. However, Narl has come up with an interesting theory that may work. The vents in the Singularity Core carry a modified version of plasma. I'm not cleared to give you all the details, but the Lisette is testing several advances that have not been provided to other ships in the fleet at this time. Narrell believes direct exposure to this modified plasma may create a vulnerability in the Vaudois. I believe this plan has a low chance of success, but it is the best option we have. If you can lure the Vaudois beneath the vents, Narrell and I will overload them, causing the plasma to cover the Vaudois and weaken him. You'll have one more problem to deal with before that, however. The Vaudois has erected a shield around the Singularity Core. Very smart, I must say. No one will be able to affect him when he is inside. You must trick him into dropping that shield. I suggest playing towards the Vaudois' pride. 
That is usually the surest way to convince someone to make a suboptimal move. Once that is done, lure the Vardwa beneath one of the vents. We'll activate the plasma, and then you can properly knock out our friend. Are you ready? Your ship is doomed! resilience. Perhaps that's why Gaul made his generous offer. You're too late to stop what is happening. The Singularity Core's overload has already begun. You will all be destroyed by your... You are my pride as a Vardwar. That's good. Very good. This is simply the most efficient way. I could kill you all one at a time, but I have better things to do. Interesting. But will you abandon the Lisette, or will you stay until the last glorious second to try and save it? Regardless, I will admit you make a point. You've survived too many of your previous encounters for me to leave anything to chance. I will enjoy seeing the last bit of life leave your eyes. Lure him back beneath one of the pipes. He's vulnerable to the plasma. Focus your fire. It's time to finish this. It'll take more than that to kill me! I will not be stopped! We need a better solution. I've got just the thing. that thing I don't know but we need a better way to fight it I'll get to work thank you for all your help without you we would have lost the Lissat 
It's unfortunate we couldn't capture the Vodwar alive for questioning. He was unlike anything I've ever seen. What made him so powerful? Nerol did manage to get a few scans. He's compiling a report on what he found, and your success with the plasma. We'll need to adapt. We can't count on throwing every Vodwar like him into a singularity core. We will handle the repairs. You should return to your ship when you are ready. Commander Jurok, I have some preliminary data for you. The Vodwar gave off a modulated carrier wave every time he was attacked by an energy weapon. In effect, he reflected the energy outward as infrared radiation. Howell and I are not yet clear on whether this is a product of biology or technology, but he did show strange isobaramine neurotransmitter activity. Regardless, this will give us a starting point to find vulnerabilities. I'll send on more findings as we complete them, and we should be able to adapt our weapons to be more effective in the future. So, the Vaudoir have some sort of super soldier to throw at us now. Wonderful. I've tasked some research groups to discover a way to fight these super Vaudoir. With luck, we'll have tactics to use against them soon. There's something interesting I'd like- Starfleet Intelligence believes the Vaudoir have a hidden base in the Cartella system. I'd like you to investigate. A Hazari bounty hunter known for their skill at infiltration will be working with you on this. Good hunting. There's something in... Greetings. It is agreeable to work with you again. The Vaudoir have greatly expanded their reach since Voyager first encountered them. Their military capabilities have developed at a rate that Starfleet Command finds troubling. An additional concern is that some leaders of the Vaudoir supremacy have developed unusual physical characteristics. These individuals exhibit strength and resilience far beyond the norm for their species. The crew of the Lisette has shared their data of your previous encounter with one of the enhanced Vaudoir with the Alliance. We have used it to devise several modifications to our weapons that may counteract their ability to reflect a portion of energy directed at them. I have provided the specifications to your crew, and they have already made the modifications to your weapons. However, these modifications are untested. It is unclear how much effect they will have. Not yet but we have found a location that may have the answers we seek. Officially, Cartella is a defunct mining colony. However, intercepted messages indicate that the lower levels of the facility are being used by supremacy leadership for an unknown purpose. Your mission will be to covertly enter the base and gather intelligence on the Vaudoir. We have made arrangements with Yadren to provide you with equipment you will need to approach the system safely. The Hazari will provide a modified hollow emitter that should allow you to approach the planet. Hollow technology is unfamiliar to the Vaudoir. If you don't want to blow this whole deal, help me with these Vaudoir!
Thanks for the help, but don't expect a discount. I wouldn't have been in that mess if I hadn't been waiting here for you. I picked up this device called a hollow emitter from a big-eared fellow named Quinn. It's programmed to replicate the appearance of a Vaudoir freighter. I don't know the specifics of this technology, but it works and I'm delivering it. That completes my contract. It was my own fault. I should have activated it before I entered the system, but hooking it into our power supply was more complicated than Quinn said it would be. Alpha Quadrant Tech has too many redundancies. Backups for your backups, and none of it matters because emergency power always fails in an emergency. Good luck. I'll wait here in case you make it back. Voyager will remain here with Yadren. With your permission, I will beam over to your ship in order to coordinate the mission. We have arrived at Cartella Prime. Your engineers have installed the hollow emitter and it is ready to activate at your command. We will need to infiltrate both automated and manual detection measures before we can reach transporter range of the planet. Our first task is to bypass the automated security perimeter. Excellent. Next, we will be challenged by orbital traffic control. Remember that the Vaudoir are an aggressive species. Unidentified vessel. Your transponder may be malfunctioning. Please transmit your ship designation and flight plan. You're cleared for docking, sir. Now we must avoid detection from the Vaudoir ships. The hollow emitter will be essential. The tunnels beneath the planet are protected by a subspace scattering field that our transporters cannot penetrate. I have found a safe location at the edge of this field, but once you beam down, you will need to make your way through the tunnels to the base itself. You are just outside of the Vaudoir security perimeter. I have accessed their internal sensors, so I will provide you with tactical assistance throughout your mission. Be wary. There is a Vaudoir patrol just ahead in the passage that crosses yours. Nearby, you should see a console. Use it to override the blast doors and trap the patrol. Be sure that the patrol is in the correct position before you activate the console, or this will fail. Logs at the facility indicate it is in poor repair and has suffered several mechanical mishaps. Use this to your advantage. Acts of sabotage that simulate equipment failures should not arouse suspicion. I am detecting a Vaudoir patrol ahead. Maintain your position until they pass. Ships will return at 20 hundred hours. Cargo teams will be assigned by the duty officer. That should keep the patrol occupied. 
I am detecting another group of Vodwar ahead. Access the security camera from the console nearby. If you overload that data tower, the Vodwar patrol will investigate. Program the door to seal them in. Alert! Conduit malfunction on level 2 section beta. Engineering teams respond immediately. Excellent. Proceed cautiously. There is a large drop ahead on your right. You will need a grapple gun to cross it. You will need to incapacitate all of the Vodwar ahead. Insert the anesthesine gas canister I provided you in the environmental control console and alter the air composition. Alert! Environmental control malfunction on level 2, section Delta 3. Engineering and medical teams, please respond. There is a large drop ahead. You will have to rappel down. to the main chamber. You need to traverse this cavern without the Vodwar seeing you and raising the alarm. To do so, you will need to use your grapple gun, as well as take advantage of anything in the environment. First, you will need to reach the support platform. Shoot a grapple across and then zip line down. Sneak up behind that guard and incapacitate him. To advance further through the cave, you will need to disable the proximity sensors. That console should allow you to do so. Now zip line to that outcropping. In order to exit this cavern without detection, you will need a distraction. We will need to move the Vodwar guards below and ahead of you, away from the next support structure. The rocks near you are unstable. Try to trigger a collapse. The way is clear for you to grapple to the next support structure. Make your way across the ledges to the outcropping near the next support structure. Grapple to the next support structure. Approach the guard and disable him. There are more guards at the other platform. Use your tricorder to reprogram the anti-personnel turrets near them to attack the Vodwar targets.
Attention, malfunctioning turrets on level 4, section beta 2. Security and engineering teams report immediately to level 4. The walkway is offline. You will need to grapple across the gap. They are aware of your actions. You cannot delay. Sensors are reading something large blocking your route through the cavern. Activate the crane with the nearby controls to move it. Not much further. There is another grapple ahead. There should be a place where you can drop down just ahead of your current position. Now slip quietly out of the cavern before the Vaudoir see you. I am detecting some unusual signals coming from below this area. You must reach the bottom of the caverns. I recommend you overload a console to create a diversion and then trap the Vaudoir guarding the area in a force field. Intruder alert! Commander Gallic, please respond! Oh great, I didn't realize I was muted. I blew An my intruder? nose earlier and I had to mute, so... Oh, that was just great. Oh shit! <laughs> Finally! Gallic? You will pay for killing Gallic! <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, I know what that is. That's the bluegill. What was that thing? You saved my life. I don't know why, but I am grateful. What was that thing? It crawled out of the commander. Was it controlling him? I think so, yes. So, have you seen anything like that before? Never. It's some kind of parasite, isn't it? 
What do you know? There are Starfleet records of, the, of creatures like this from the mid twenty say from mid twenty three sixties. They're neural parasites that appear to retain some of the host memories while also increasing the body's strength and resilience. When one takes over, though, the person the host was is gone forever. Do you believe other members of the Vaudois are infected by these beasts? Could all of our leaders be contaminated? Yes, and these tunnels may hold the information that will help us that will help us defeat them. I know my duty. I cannot allow you to wander freely through our compound, but I can't ignore this either. A temporary truce then. I will accompany you, and if what you say is true, I must know how many of my people have been taken. Agreed. Follow me. I think it went down that passage over there. It went down one of the cracks in the rock. We'll have to deactivate that force field to pursue it. Okay. Just a case of repelling down. It appears the creature has already left the area. I would recommend you scan the area with your tricorder. Perhaps it left a hormonal trace you can follow. I didn't know these caves were so extensive. Only the highest leadership is allowed down here. Ah, spiders. How did the Vaudoir come into contact with the parasites in the first place? It has been many years since Starfleet encountered them. I'm wondering that myself. I wonder how many of our leaders have been infected. Surely Gala can't be the only one. Based on Starfleet's previous encounters with the parasites, you should be extremely cautious. The creatures show remarkable cunning. Give me an enemy I can confront face to face. This deception sickens me. They are insidious. These creatures nearly ended the Federation. Although we have had our differences with the Vaudoir, the Federation do not wish to see any species enslaved. Ooh. This area has always been off limits. I expected some kind of hive. But this is just a storage room. I see some of our stasis modules, which means there are soldiers who have not been rewoken. But the rest of this? That was just supplies. There's nothing here that will prove what you claim. Perhaps this infection was limited to just one man. I wouldn't be so sure. Let's take a look at those canisters. What was that thing? Wait, did you hear something? Yeah. One second, let me just pop down a turret. Ah. I see you've met my little friends. They want to get to know you better. What are you? How far has this infestation spread? You have such a small mind. The joining will help. You will see everything we can be once we are brothers under the skin. <laughs> Thanks you to your involvement with the cinematic turret. <laughs>
we will rise again, and you will know our true might. This ends now. I cannot allow you to spread this infestation. Boy, those are ugly. Oh, acid. There. The Vodwar are alerted to your presence. You must leave the facility. But the subspace scattering field is still in effect. Find I'll the controls and disable them. I'll disable it. Find the controls to the subspace scattering field and disable them. Although you have helped the Vaudoir people today, do not believe this makes us friends, or even allies. Will you come with us? No, I must remain with my people. Perhaps I will discover more of what's really happening here. Farewell, Aldix. Your activities on the surface have alerted the Vaudoir to your presence. They are beginning to inspect the starships in orbit. I would recommend returning to the ship immediately. And uh, no more long lines of militant. Want to beam up? <laughs> I mean, once you... T basically, you got yourself an empire, and then... You see, I forgot how many years ago. And basically, you got... You got basically got wrecked. And everyone forgot about you. Until you, until you woke up, until they woke up from, from basically hiding. Although their plan was to do it after, after a few years instead of, instead of thousands. If I remember correctly. The information you discovered in the base is troubling. While Starfleet knew the neuroparasites found on Earth sent a signal to deep space before they were destroyed, we never knew the destination of that signal. It very well may have been the Delta Quadrant. However, contemplating the ramifications of parasites among the Vaudoir ranks must wait. The fleet protecting this planet has been alerted to our presence. It is only a matter of time before this vessel is discovered. Okay, so of course to the edge of the system, everyone. Unidentified vessel. Your transponder codes are invalid. Security vessels are on- There is only a .008% chance that this ship will survive a direct confrontation. One last act of sabotage may be what is required. I propose we swap transponder codes with another vessel. Given the aggressiveness of the Vaudoir, there is a 68.4% chance they will turn on one another. We can escape in the confusion. Okay, let's get to the closest one we can. You 
and swap the codes. Now let's get the heck out of here. Well, you're alive. I guess that means the hollow emitter did its job. Actually, the hollow emitter malfunctioned. We were almost discovered. But it did work. Contract complete. Until next time, Yadren. Excellent work. Now that we know at least some of the Vodwar have been taken over by the neural parasites, we can form an appropriate plan of action. The one Vodwar who helped you, Commander Eldex, may be of assistance. It was clear that he was not aware of the corruption. With your permission, I will return to Voyager. There is much still to do before we will see the end of the Vodwar threat. Okay then, permission granted. Where's Voyager? Here you are. Beam Tuvok over. Thank you again. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life, Admiral Tuvok. Let's get out of here. Neural parasites. That explains a lot. The enhanced physical abilities, maybe even their rapid return to power in the sector. If they follow previous patterns, the parasites will infect Vaudoir in key leadership positions. The two overseers you took out might be the tip of the iceberg. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. Our forces are stretched thin here. Admiral Tuvok and Captain Kim are putting a recruitment plan together, and they've requested your assistance. Alrighty then. There's something interesting I'd like... I'll head to the system here. But go out and navigate this time because I'm... Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna be playing in playing ads right now because we got 30, we got 26 minutes till the end of my stream and I don't want anyone to get stuck behind ads while we're closing out here so I'm sorry about this everyone Do, 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 do. Also, I need to alt-tab real quick, so... It's mainly to go into OBS here. There we go. All set there. Okay, let's begin this. Okay, sir, we've lighted the Alliance system. USS Voyager here, along with the Rhode Island. And requesting presence of Port Voyager. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, I should mention 
that, please stick around after stream because we're going to be doing a raid. Admiral Tuvok is in the conference room with the other members of the task force. Follow me, please. I'll take you to him. Lead the way, Commander. Should change back to my uniform. Seems like we're never going to get you that tour. Sorry. The others are waiting for you in the conference room. Let us begin. While the Kobali and the Benthans have agreed to join our alliance, there are many other races in the Delta Quadrant in a position to help us defeat the Vodwar. It will be up to us to show them the benefits of joining us. Seven, I would like you to contact the Cooperative. The Cooperative should be amenable to our offer. They have as much to lose as we do. Neelix, your experience as a trader makes you an excellent choice to work with the Hazari. The Hazari? This won't be easy, but I should be able to pull it off. Captain Kim, we've arranged a meeting for you with the leaders of several Kazon sects. I don't trust the Kazon, but I'll give it my best effort. Doctor, you have experience with the Hierarchy. I would like you to infiltrate one of their ships and learn more about how they make decisions. Ooh, I have several new subroutines that will be perfect for this mission. As for you, I would like you to visit the Toure and the Octanti, and then provide support to any of the others who require it. We need allies to turn the tide of this war. We cannot fail. As I was saying, make sure to stick around towards the end of the stream because we'll be raiding. Room. Though there is some time to speak with the crew. Um, I'll talk. I'll talk a little bit to the crew. I never thought I'd be a spokesperson for this alliance myself, and to the Hazari. I guess all my time as a traitor and ambassador made Admiral Tuvok think nope. I was the right. Yeah, I need to readjust my posture. Knowing that you and your crew have my back ah. is a great relief. The Thanks. The Hazari are tough negotiators. I have no drink. I look. I decide. Decide to look at my glass. I'm out. Now, unless you count the tiddly wink of water I have. <laughs> Give me one second, everyone. I'm back, and I got the water. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely needed that, that posture check. I was slouching. Okay, continue. To the doctor. This is going to be interesting. I've never really tested my field intelligence subroutines, but Admiral Tuvok assures me they will perform well. He has been assisting me with the programming, and I've made an extensive study of intelligence and information gathering on my own. I may require you to interact with the hierarchy and make the Alliance offer to them. If they think it's the best financial option, they may agree to join us. Okay, I think I should have left the water, run left the water running a little bit because the water tastes musty a little bit. And not uh, musty, and not like mold musty, like dirt. A little bit. Okay. The cooperative should be amenable to our alliance. I foresee no problems and should not require your assistance. I will inform you if the situation changes. Okay. The Kazon are argumentative and difficult. Getting them on our side will be tricky. I'll be negotiating with the leaders of five of the clans. While I hope to bring them all on board, I'll be happy if we get one or two. The Rhode Island is a tough ship, but I'd be grateful if you could bring your ship to the negotiations. The Kazon respect a show of force, and your ship might be just the thing we <laughs> Funny, need to, to our side. Wrong clans. Different universe. The Touré and the Octante have worked with us in the past, 
you should not find it difficult to make a convincing case for a renewed alliance. I'll head to the transporter room and return my ship then. Ready to beam you back to your ship, sir. All right. Okay, what's the plan, Captain? Admiral Tuvok asks us to visit the Terray of the Actanti. And uh, for what purpose? We're forming an alliance of races here in the Delta Quadrant. Getting everyone to join together against the Bodroar? Good idea. It won't be easy, but there's an old saying that applies. Join together or die alone. What <laughs> Okay, Yoza, have yourself something nice to eat. Anyway, much of the original crew of Voyager will be reaching out to the other races. We are to assist them wherever we can. Well, Captain, her ship's running as best as she can. What's our first destination? The Turay. From there, it's up to us who we deal with and where to go. Okay, sir, we arrived in the terrain system. Notably calmer. It seems notably calmer, calmer since we last we last here. Long-range scans show pickets of terrain ships in orbit. Those are the those. There aren't any fault-on sensors, though. Looks like they left the terrain to fend for themselves. Pick up some odd something out of subspace capture. Recommend we check it out before contacting the terrain. Okay, let's set a course for the disturbance. I'll take some scans. It looked like there was a ship in subspace, and now it's gone. Uh, the Trey used under space, so it could have been one of their ships, but the Bodorg also used it as well. Whatever it was, it's gone now. The Trey are not responding to our hails. Perhaps we get closer. We'll get closer. We'll get their attention. Set course for their planet. That's close enough. This is restricted space, and you're not welcome. We're on a diplomatic mission. We wish to speak with your government about security matters that will affect that will affect not just your homeworld, but the entire Delta Quadrant. We don't need your advice. Our Voth allies are more than strong enough to help us. Since you don't speak for your government, I suggest you connect me with someone who does. Very well. Ambassador Norik will speak with you now. Don't waste his time like you've wasted mine. Well, like you wasted mine. Anyway, ne finally! What is the meaning of this? Ambassador, I'd like to extend an offer. Nope, oh, that's a message from Dad. I'll a answer it in a minute. I would like to extend an offer from Manuel Tuvok and the rest of the Alliance High Command for the Terrain to join our fight against the Vodwar. We want no more alliances. The Toure have a mutual defense pact with the Voth, and it is quite sufficient for our needs. Uh, I see no Voth ships in this system, Ambassador. And if you recall... Oh, one second. Okay. It's nothing important to, to, really, show, to really see. Okay, I see no Voth ships in this system, Ambassador. If you recall, it was my crew and I who helped restore your defense grid and bring it back online to the initial attack. Be gone! I do not wish to order our pickets to fire upon you, <coughs> but I will if I must. Ambassador, I think that, sir, m m multiple underspace corridors opening sensors are picking up three Vodrok strike teams. Red alert, let's show the tray how the Alliance can help defend their homeworld. The Voth are on their way. I...
Jump. Attention any moth ships. This is a priority emergency. We are under attack. Into the ship. While your ship may be formidable, it is still no match for the Voth. We have already chosen our ally. Your ships are no match for the Vador. You need our help. The Voth have been a power in this part of the galaxy longer than even the Vadwar. They are the first race in the Quadrant, and should be respected for their age and wisdom. I'd like to point out the Voth has still not arrived to aid you. They're not coming. We are one, we're the ones to save you again. You make some excellent points. The, the Alliance can permanently add ships to your picket, something the Voth seem unwilling to do. You have given us much to think about. Upon consideration, I think this Alliance is in the mutual benefit of all involved. I will take your offer to my superiors, with my approval and then we'll send an attaché to your flagship to work out the details. It's, it's a pleasure to call you an ally, Ambassador. It is agreeable that your efforts to recruit the Touré were successful. We are reaching out to their embassy to begin our cooperation immediately. Thank you. Understood, Admiral. Uh, Tarsi, let's pick our new destination. Let's go to the Rushan system. Help with recruit the Actanti. Greetings. I am on my way with several cooperative ships. It was simple enough to get them onto our side, but the real problem now is with the Octanti. The Octanti Consular should be at your location now. Please begin discussions without us. We shall be there soon. Understood. I was two out. Greetings. I am Ambassador Rerick of the Octanti. Good day! I examined the proposal your government's transmitted, and I'm afraid the Octanti people must decline. The Federation, the Klingon Empire, and the Romulan Republic all give rank and commissions to Borg drones. You call them liberated, but they are still Borg. The Borg drove us off our homeworld and massacred our people. An alliance with them would be unthinkable! These drones, as you call them, are valued officers. They are free from the Collective and no longer have any desire to assimilate anyone. They have been freed. If you think about that... Borg are Borg. We will not join your alliance. And we never will. Our people have lost too much already. I won't be led into another unwinnable war. This is Seven of Nine. I have a priority message for the Octanti. We're in communication with them now, Seven. Patching you in. Ambassador Rarick, the cooperative has a problem with which they require your assistance. An Octanti synthetic virus has infected a recently liberated cube, causing severe problems for the fragile consciousnesses of the former drones. They are falling to madness. Our sensors show the cube is moving in this direction. You are in danger. What needs to happen here, Seven? Unknown. 
We need the Octanti to transmit the shutdown code for the synthetic virus. If done quickly, the liberated Borg aboard the cube may recover. Ambassador, I implore you to help the crew of that cube. They're no longer part of the Collective. They need your help. Never. If the virus infected them, then our work is done. They will destroy themselves. Uh, how long till they, till they arrive, Seven? It's arriving now. Your time is up. Lower your prepare assimilated. Ambassador, please deactivate the virus. There are thousands of liberated Borg on that cube who need your help. Listen to her. The Borg are a blight. The only course of action is extermination. Seven, can you open a channel to that cube? Maybe we can reason with them. Rarick, where is Rarick? I know he is here. P please. Deactivate virus. Ah! Wait, what? Mask? Is that you? Eric, you know him? That's my brother. He and four other Octanti volunteered to be infected with the virus and taken by the Borg seven years ago. I. I thought he was lost to us. He's been liberated by the cooperative. Deactivate the virus and you could save him. Deactivating now. Ah, it's not working. The cube's automated defenses are too strong. We'll need to weaken it before I can transmit the code. Okay, it's going to try to defend itself. Red alert! There we go. Come on. Rarick, we intercepted a transmission about your meeting. It was right. You were here. I fought the madness to get to you. Dangerous. But I knew you would not abandon us. Thank you. You did well, Meshk. Meshk, I'm so overjoyed to see you. I never believed in this liberation idea. It was a fantasy for the grieving, but having seen it firsthand, hearing my brother's voice again, maybe I shouldn't have been so willing to dismiss hope. I will see that the Octanti people seriously consider your proposal. We need to reconsider many things. Consideration is a great start. We knew recruiting the Octanti was going to be problematic. You did exceptionally well with a very difficult task. Understood, Admiral Tarsi. Let's pick our new destination. Okay, is this Hazari? Sorry about that. Had to take care of something real quick. Sir, we've arrived at the Nella system. This area is a hotbed for Hasari bounty hunters and pirates, so much so that the Benthans have regular sweep make regular sweeps throughout the area as well. He looks like ship is waiting for us, sir. Let's meet up with him. Oh. Ah oh well. Got some hydrazine, hydrazine. Oh, thank goodness you've arrived! I'm trying to work with the Hazari, but they are a demanding lot. They're using this opportunity to milk the Benthans for everything they've got. They have demands? To say the least. First, they want the Benthans to void the warrants of three of the Hazari, Niken, Yakela, and Nagrasa. Then, they want two prisoners released, 
And if that weren't enough, they're demanding bounty hunting licenses for the Ramar, Zillman, and us printy systems. I think I should speak with the Patrick through. Pleasure to see you again. I assume you can speak with more authority than this Talaxian. He has given me your list of requests. You're asking for quite a lot, but I'll speak with the Bethans to see if we can come to arrangement. Then I wish you good luck. Your offer is tempting, but we simply don't have any help to give you. All of my resources have to be focused on the Benthans breathing down our necks. I'm still trying to work this out, you try. The Benthans usually have a ship patrolling this area of the system. It's a neutral ground, but they know what can happen in neutral areas. The ship should be able to contact the Benthan High just a car for us. And of course. The Benthans keep a close eye on this system. Lots of deals are made here. Thank you to the Benthan High Justicar, Captain. I am High Justicar Methan. I was told you needed to speak to me on a critical matter. Yeah, we're building an alliance slowly but, sh but surely. As a matter of fact, that's why I need your help. Oh? How can we assist you? We're trying to recruit the Hazari, but they have some demands. If you'll be willing to look at the list. It's always demands when it comes to the Hazari. Demands, deals, and contracts. Transmit their list. I haven't had a good laugh in days. There's no way we'd agree to all this. I'm sorry. Perhaps if you don't need to agree to all of it. What can you do? If the Hazari don't join what can you do? If the Hazari don't join us, the Vardro may recruit them. Good point. Hmm. I can rescind the warrants for Nakan and Yakela. But not Nagrasa. He's caused too much trouble to let him go free. And the prisoners, I'll exchange them for Nakedan. If the Hazari will give him up. He's been raising havoc in three sectors. I'll give them one of the systems for hunting, but not all three. Thank let them choose which one they want. Thank you for being willing to negotiate. I'll take your offer to the Hazari. Will they give us what we want? No, but... Of course we knew they wouldn't give us everything. But if you don't ask for everything, you won't get anything, hmm? As I was saying, they won't agree to all of your demands, but they're willing to negotiate. What? Oh, oh I mean good. Let's see here. We give the Benthans Nikedon, and we get two of our captains back? <laughs> Done. Nikedon is a Bashik Monar. I think the closest translation we have to your language is a pit where you throw your pack animal. Take him, but he won't go without a fight. We'll collect him and deliver him to the Benthans. There we have a deal? Sure. I'll draw up the contract. Just transmit your authorization and you've got a deal. As soon as the Benthans deliver, the Hazari are part of your alliance. Nakedin is in hiding, but I'll give you an encoded signal to lure him out. He'll think it's one of our ships giving him the all clear. <laughs> Agreed. You can use one of the Benthan satellites nearby to relay the signal. We send signals on them all the time. It'll lend to your credibility. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. To the satellite. And deploy the swarmers. A trap? Fine. I'll kill you then, my so-called friends. And back onto the sh back on back into the hangars, everyone. Fine, fine, fine. I won't lose my ship and crew for this. You've beaten me. As a deputized, age, deputized, deputized agent of the Benthan Guard, you are hereby under arrest. Lower your shields and prepare to be transported to, the, to our brig. What? The Benthans? I thought I'd be going to one of your prisons. I can escape from one of those in a week. Are you going to come along peacefully? Lowering shields now. Just don't vaporize me. How cooperative of you.
we should take our prisoner to that Bentham patrol ship. Beam you over. The Hazari seem a little too happy about this outcome. Even if Yadrin doesn't like Nikedrin, I didn't think he'd be so quick to give him up to the Benthans. They must really hate him, then. I don't think that's the case. Okay, hail Yadrin. We will need to talk, then. On behalf of all the Hazari, thank you for delivering that Grotok Nikedrin to the Benthans. Okay, what's your angle? Why are you all so giddy? Oh, what can it hurt now? We've got an airtight contract. Remember those hollow emitters we got from that Ferengi? He also sold us a nice, personal-sized one with a low-emission power pack. We gave that one to Nikedon. <laughs> right about now, he should be slipping out of the brig and into the crew of that Benthan cruiser you delivered him to. <laughs> a spy on the High Justicar ship. <laughs> we'll know everything. What? I have to tell them about this. Not so fast. Our contract specifically states that you cannot interfere in the matter of Captain Nikedon once you have delivered him to the Benthans. Telling them would be the very definition of interference. <sighs> I don't like this, but I but to keep your sp but keep your spike. Stop the Vodrar is a bit more important than petty games. And that's done. I'll meet you back at Voyager. I understand the Hazari used the pretense of the Alliance to place a spy on the Benthan ship, and that their contact with us will be voided if we inform the Benthans of his presence. Fortunately, we have our own operatives in the Hazari organization. They will be able to marginalize the effectiveness of the Hazari spy, while still keeping them as a tool to use against the Vodwar. Understood, Admiral Tarsi. Let's pick our next destination. Let's go with the Hierarchy. Okay, sir, we've arrived at the Prebles, Prebles system. The Admiral Tuvok said the Doctor will be infiltrating a hierarchy ship. If he made it successfully, he should be waiting for our signal. Let's not keep him waiting. Hello again. I thought it would be best if I used your bridge's hollow emitters for this conversation. I'm currently in disguise on board the hierarchy ship as one of those potato-looking fellows. And I don't think you want to see any more of this than you have to. It's fine, Doctor. What's the situation? The hierarchy assume I'm one of the crew. I've begun a review of their cost analysis matrix, which is what they use to determine if any particular course of action will be profitable. Right now, their ship is running silent, which means they're cloaked, and all higher-level computer functions are locked out. I need those to complete my review. You need to convince them to decloak. Hail them. Show them their cloak isn't enough to hide them from the Alliance. Then, you might be able to convince them to join. That is what we came here to do. The ship is currently cloaked by one of the nav beacons in this region of space. Just head to the nav beacon, and you'll get their attention. Okay, we have the coordinates. This should shake them up. The hierarchy once corrupted my programming in an attempt to spy on Voyager. This seems fitting. Yeah, These subroutines are quite useful. Perhaps I'll write a hollow novel That's close about enough. my experiences as a spy. I don't want any trouble, but I would like to know how you knew our location. Suffice to say that tracking you is just a taste of the Alliance's power. Join us in our fight against the Vadrar and we can share this power with you. Hmm. Don't tell us your secrets and we will tell you the part. As for your power of an alliance. Give me a moment to consider it. A moment. Yes. The hierarchy is consulting the cost analysis matrix. This is exactly what I needed. Hmm. This is going to take some time. We'll need to stall them while I get what I need. Your moment's up. I am sorry, but the hierarchy has evaluated the investment needed for such an undertaking, and we find that the Alliance ships are simply outmatched by the Vodwar. There's no profit in losing. We'll stay out of this fight. 
I'm sorry, but I don't agree with your analysis of our capabilities. I have an idea. Follow my lead. Your lead? Very well. Um, uh, perhaps we could arrange for a demonstration of their abilities. I could reroute the cloaking device through our main deflector dish and create convincing holographic targets for them to fight. Sounds like a reasonable idea. You, you could do that. Very well. That will show us what these Alliance ships are capable of. Then we'll run the numbers again. Are you ready to prove your worth? Of course, I. you have no idea what my ship is capable of. Uh, uh, two holographic Borg probes coming up. Borg right. probes? Huh. Hardly a challenge. I want something big. Give me a Voth bulwark. Also, I don't care if they can just defeat the hologram. I want to see how well this person works with their crew. Anyone could throw firepower at something. It's another thing to be a good manager of people. Voth bulwark? Very well, we can handle it. One Voth bulwark coming up. Heart alert! Don't believe it. Run the numbers again. Hmm. Very well. It seems that we underestimated you. If other ships are like yours, we'll gladly join your alliance. Glad to have you aboard, Lovo Horvo. Okay, we'll cover the doctor. Okay. Excellent work, Doctor. Your recordings of the hierarchy's cost analysis matrix will be a great benefit to Starfleet intelligence. And you. I must say, bringing the hierarchy into the Alliance is quite unexpected. I thought it would take weeks of back-channel negotiations to make any progress with them at all. Thank you for taking a risk. Your show of power must have been most impressive. Understood, Admiral. Let's go to our new dex destination. Okay. It's dealing with the Kazon. See if he needs help. Glad to see you. It seems the Kazon don't believe we have enough ships to stop the Vodwar. I keep telling them we'll have the numbers if we work together, but they keep insisting they need more information. Okay, this is Kazon, this is Admiral Wiles of the Oblis 2. As you can see, we do not have a shortage of ships. More ships! I demand to see more! We can't get the entire fleet here at once. Our scouts have reported seeing Voyager in the Delta Quadrant again. We want to see that ship. Voyager? Captain Kim, that is an oddly specific request. Yes. I wonder... I'm going to try something. Things might get dicey if my suspicions are correct. Okay, we'll be ready. Nelik, the USS Voyager is not available. If there is anything about it that you need to know, I can answer those questions. I was stationed on Voyager during its time here in the Delta Quadrant. You were on Voyager? That's excellent news. If you're willing to vouch for your fleet's strength, Captain Kim, we are ready to join your alliance. That was too easy, Captain. You're telling me. Wait a second. They just transmitted a coded signal. There's a ship just outside sensor range. Probably waiting for Voyager to arrive. Code yellow alert. Ensign Harry Kim, or is it Captain now? Finally got a promotion. I hope you enjoyed your life, Captain. It ends now. Uh, Captain, you know this case on from your time here? I don't know. You have me at a disadvantage. You know my name, but I don't know who you are. 
at least give me the courtesy of an introduction to the man who's going to kill me. My name is Sesson, but that means nothing to you. You would have known my mother. You served with her on Voyager. Welcome back, Yosa. Captain Jane. Want to get this mission done before and before everything? Drove her into exile with the Kazon, where she was a brave and capable leader. Tell me, Captain Kim, do you ever think about what you did to Seska? Seska, then you must be. We didn't even know you were still alive, Sesson. Your father took you when he left Voyager. Unlike my mother, I survived con contacts with the peaceful Federation. I live, and now I lead the Kazan Nistrum. Let them talk. Talk to the others. Well, Sesson and Captain Kim squabble over old hurts. I would like to make you an offer. I'm listening. My clan has taken over a new planet, but the climate is arid and water is in short supply. About a hundred of your terraforming systems would change our prospects for the better. If you will provide them, I'll pledge the loyalty of the Kazon Rolora to you right now, as well as the ships of all the clans who are our allies. Okay, let's see if we can make them. Terraforming. Yes. I know it'll cost a bit, but I'll make it up later. Well, Seth, my clan has and yes, taken over a new planet, yes, we have that many terraforming systems. I will get them to you for your assistance. Supply. Thank you. The Kazon Rolora will fight by your side. We may be calling you uh, sooner than you think. Shields up. Red alert. I knew Kazon was going to run. Not the best thing. Not all Apologize for the deception. Mage Session holds a great deal of power over the rest of the Kazon clans. I hope my actions here will convince you that our desire <laughs> to assist you against the Vodka yeah. is sincere. Captain, can, can we trust them? The Kazon are very factional. I can believe that Session strong armed them into acting as they did. I would like to welcome the Kazon Ogla and the other allied Kazon to the Alliance. Agreed. And... Great work getting the Kazon Relora to join the Alliance. There's no way the Nistrum will join us. Sesson is obsessed with Voyager. I don't know what his father told him about us, but Seska was a thorn in our sides for most of our early time in the Delta Quadrant. She certainly wasn't the victim. She was the aggressor. It looks like her hatred of Voyager has been passed on to her son. I wish he could have had a better legacy. I'll return to Admiral Tuvok in the Alyan system. See you there. Understood, Captain Tarsi. Let's go to Voyager. Since that was the last of it. Congratulations are in order. I did not expect us to bring together all of the races we approached on this mission. You were instrumental in our efforts today. Myself and the Alliance thank you for all the effort you have put into making this work. Thank you, Admiral. And leave Sector Space, and that'll be it for tonight. I thank you all for tuning in. If you liked what you wore, what you watched, please hit that follow icon down below to follow along. And if you want to help support me, subscribe. For those that are going to be following, this is my stream schedule. Micro Island on Fridays, Baltic Vance 62 on Mondays, even though that's going to be any game of my choosing on Mondays, and also any game of my choosing on Tuesdays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a Twitter account. I post whenever I go live there or whatever interesting pops into my head there. I also post whenever I go live there as well. So if you want to follow along there, you can. I also have a Discord server. You can. 
hop on there and hang out with me and also see whenever I go live there as well. I thank you all for tuning in. We're going to be raiding DJ Particle. They are also playing Star Trek Online as well, so might as well continue it on. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there, everyone. Bye.